Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and in this session, we are going to understand the config.yml file structure. So, this is the core of Circle CI, and this is where we put all our instructions, job, workflows. And uh, if you have seen the earlier session, you have already seen a config.yml file, but today we are going to understand each and every section of this file, and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. I will go very basic step by step and start from scratch. So let's get started. And before I, I will take you to the config file. Let us see a mnemonic and let's try to understand and learn this mnemonic and keep it in our minds. Very jumpy elephants swim really well. So if you keep this in your mind, you can actually understand the sections or the structure of the config.yml file in circle ci so v stands for version which is the file version the config file version which comes at the top of the file j is for jobs where we define our tasks that we have to run e is for executor where we define the execution environment like docker virtual machine windows mac linux etc where this job will run s is for steps which are the list of actions inside a job so every job we can have multiple steps so s is for steps then R is for run, which are the commands to execute. And then finally, W is for workflows, where we say that these are the jobs to run or in which order these jobs should be run. Okay, so in a moment, I will show you the config file and this will be very, very clear. So just remember this mnemonic, very jumpy elephants swim really well. Okay, and this is what it, what are the sections, version, jobs, executors, steps run and workflows this is what we have seen here as well okay so with this knowledge and keeping this in mind let's go and see a very very basic config.yml file okay now in case you have followed the last earlier sessions uh, we had already created a config.yml file you can see here this is also a basic file here we have version then we have jobs, then we have the st steps in the job. This is the job name. We have the executor, which is Docker here. Then we have the steps of the job. Here we are doing checkout and then running these commands. So this is the run section. Then finally, we have the workflow where we define our jobs or, or where we put the sequence in which the jobs will be executed or what jobs will be executed. Okay, so here, this is a very basic config.yml file of circle CI. Okay. So here also we have version, jobs, executor, steps, run section and workflows. Okay. So now let's understand the first thing is version and you will always find a version at the top of your config file. And here it tells that which schema to interpret your file with what schema this uh, it is using or what we have to use so that you know that this is a version of the config.yml file we are using okay and you will accordingly go with that particular version or schema okay and generally you don't have to worry about this uh, you will uh, you can just put the latest version here so if you see here as well this is what we did last time and here is version 2.1 Okay, if the version changes, you can try with the latest version. Okay, then we have the job name here, we give the tag jobs, and then give the name of the job. So this you can give anything, you can call your jo job anything here. Alright, and then we have the executor. So this is the execution environment where this instructions or the job that you are giving here, where will it get executed. So here you can uh, we can have a docker image or we can have virtual machines we can have windows mac linux etc okay so circle ci offers all these environments docker linux virtual machine mac os windows gpus and vms so here you can put your executors then we have the steps so what steps we have to do for this job so here in this particular config file the step is we have to check out the code Okay, so whatever repository you have configured this uh, config file with, it will check out on this system where whatever is the execution environment, and then it will run these commands. So here, 
now you may have seen that in some jobs you may have to check out in some other jobs you may not have to check out so it depends on what you have to do so if your steps require the uh, code that you are getting from the repository maybe to run some commands on that code you may have to check out on the system on the virtual machine whatever you are using for this job so it takes uh, it checks out the code there and then you may want to run some command but if it is a job which is just uh, let's say just running some simple commands without having to use the repository code or maybe uh, triggering something else or just some kind of notification then you may not have to check out your code on that system okay so you can have other steps as well here then we have the run steps where we are running the commands okay so here you can put all your commands that you are running okay you can also give the name or label to the command and the actual command as well then we have the workflows here we give the name of the workflow so for example here it is hello workflow and then we say jobs and then all the jobs we have to run so in this case it's a sim single job say hello which is mentioned here but otherwise if you have multiple jobs we can have all, all these jobs here and then we can also run them in parallel or in sequence i will tell you that in a moment so for now just remember this is the structure of config.yml file and these are the different sections all right so now we have seen all these sections version jobs docker or docker is actually executor it can be docker or any other executor as well so the right thing will be docker executor here but in this particular config file it is docker then we have steps then check out and run all right and we have already seen the mnemonics very jumpy elephant swim really well you can use some other mnemonics as well so this is just so that you remember these sections or the structure and it will help you okay so with this let's see so let me show you this we have already seen and this reference will be very useful for you let me show you two sites or two links so this is the first one which is circle ci docs reference configuration reference here you can see the different sections we have version then all these things you can see here setup and executors commands so you can have a good understanding of and if you want to understand more about any of the sections you can come here and check this then there is this another link here you can see some sample config files so here you can see some sample files and here you can see we have these workflows so let's say i go to this concurrent workflow concurrent means it will run in parallel so you can see we have two jobs here so we have build job and test job and then in the workflow we have mentioned build and test both and they are not dependent on each other therefore they can run concurrently otherwise if we make if we have some dependency they will run sequentially so let us see an example if i go to sequential workflow here you can see again we have build job and test job and here you can see we have in the workflow we have first mentioned build and then we have mentioned test but we have also mentioned this requires the build job so that means build job will always run first and then the test job okay then we can also have approval job where we can have a approval step so here you can see this job here is here we have said it requires approval so if you need some manual approval before uh, you know continuing to the next job you can also have a approval step okay so you can also check this link will be very useful okay and with this you will have a good understanding of your config.yml file I hope this was useful. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.